<laughs> Some of the guys said it hasn't really sunk in, that mm -hmm. you guys are going to the Super Bowl. What's it like from your estimation? Um, well, to be honest, it's, it's, it's another week of preparation. And uh, like I said, coach, coach told us not to make it bigger than what it is. You know, we're playing the New England pa Patriots. You know, they got a great group of guys. Um, and when you look at it, you know, some people really get caught up in the, the Super Bowl atmosphere and they kind of change their ways of playing. And um, I think what Dr. Elko and Coach Peterson are really doing a great job with is making sure that everybody acts the same each week. Don't do anything out of proportion. Just you know, relax, stay focused, and uh, have fun because nobody really gets to this moment because you know, a very small percentage each season. So you really got to enjoy it and uh, soak it all in. Do you think about how far you've come where right now all the college all-star games are taking place yeah. and you haven't had an offseason. Yeah. It's been draft prep to yeah. being undrafted to fighting for a spot here to now playing in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's what makes it all worth it. And when I look back, I had a, um, a, a long, a long prep, I would say, and uh, can't wait to go back and watch the Senior Bowl right now. So um, you know, shout out to those guys in the Senior Bowl. It doesn't matter where you get picked, just make an impact wherever you go. and. Um, um, it just makes it that much better because when I go back home after practice, I know I gave it my all every single time I came out here. I'm pretty sure everybody else on this team can you know, say that for themselves as well. So uh, I think this is what makes this team special. I love coming to work every day and knowing that you know, something new is going to happen because somebody has found another niche in their staff to get better. Coach Pearson has preached to you guys that it's not just about getting to the Super Bowl. Right. It's taking that next step and winning exactly. it. I mean, how important is it that that message is kind of implanted in your guys' minds that it's great to get here, but it's unfinished business until you guys actually win it? Right, because, you know, if you have the mindset that you just want to get to the Super Bowl, I think you lost already because uh, you, know, you got to have that strong mindset that, uh, you know, you got he had a build confidence, you got to build strategy, you got to build structure around this great uh, defense that we're going against as far as the uh, offensive side. So, um, you know, you know, as far as the Super Bowl goes, we're just going to lay it all out there and, uh, you know, bring something home. Does it seem like a long time since training camp now? Uh, yeah, you know, all the hot days. It actually feels good outside for once, so uh, you know, it brings back a little bit of a memory. Just first day walking out there and uh, in a different number, different atmosphere, different jersey, different number and all that. So um, I'm really happy of the, the, the journey I'm on. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm not mad I didn't get drafted. That's out the window. I can you know, give two craps about it now. So it's all about just uh, making an impact and uh, you know, continuing for years to come. Have you never played anywhere near this long before? Are you tired? Am I tired? No, I'm not tired one bit. We got the Super Bowl, so uh, I'm, I'm more awake than ever. When you said that the coaches want to make sure that everyone acts the same yeah. way and, and you know every week, yeah. How, how do they go about doing that? Um, what's, what's, how do you make sure that guys don't stray? Because this isn't a normal week, for right? You, right. It's uh, I would say the only thing is is listening. You got to listen. Um, you know, listening to what Coach uh, Peterson is uh, trying to illust illustrate uh, each each morning in the meeting. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all locked in our brain. And uh, making sure, you know, because he said a powerful message to us, is the teams that lose in the Super Bowl are the teams that change in the second half. So uh, if you stay consistent within just focus on the next play, then you should be fine. But the teams that lose are the ones that change, you know, trying to do everything out of the ordinary. Have you taken stock of this journey for you, going from being undrafted to climbing up the depth chart to here you are a contributor on a Super Bowl team? Yeah, and uh, I've been past that phase. I, I feel as if um, I got drafted. Um, uh, that, that whole thing is just wiped out of my memory. Um, I, of course, I'll, I'll think about it you know, when I'm done playing football, just to uh, add to my story. But at the same time, I feel like these guys welcome me with open arms. And uh, you know, being back home made it that much better. So uh, you know, I just I wake up each day, come in, and just uh, shut up and grind, basically. Corey, it seems like fans all across the country, casual fans, are embracing yeah. this team. Right. Do you have a sense why, from your estimation? Um, no, but I know a lot of people doubting this, and that's what we need. So, uh, underdogs, we coming, and uh, that's all I can say.